You know it's bad when Cardi B thinks you suck. I mean, think about this. You're Eric Adams. You're the stupidest, dumbest, most idiotic, you're the biggest buffoon and oaf in the history of American politics, much less New York. You're an idiot. You're a jadrool. You're a beotian. You're a dimwit, a dullard, an icona, just a a, a, a blatteroon. You are a man-child. You are somebody so desirous to be cool, to be let in, to be to be accepted by the cognoscenti and the like. Give me a break. And now of all people in the world, Cardi B disgust is is disgusted by you. Why? Because everybody in New York knows you're an idiot. You see, this is one thing you gotta understand. Idiots are now, you might think to yourself, well, is 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 uh, is is Biden an idiot? No, he's neurologically challenged. Uh, who else is an idiot? Really, nobody. We don't have any idiots. We, I mean, we really don't. Biden was never a... He was never, you know, a particle physicist, but he, he was a damn good politician and, and knew where things were and, and could at least be presentable. Listen to five seconds of Eric Adams and you know right away he's an idiot. There's nobody... In politics today, woke, right wing, anybody, even people like Lori Lightfoot or Bowser or or that lunatic governor in New York, uh, Phil, um, what's his name, Phil, uh, what's the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy. My God, I'm having it myself. He's not, they're not idiots. They're not. I mean, Sarah Palin, we thought was kind of a, but she wasn't an idiot. We thought Dan Quayle was too because he couldn't spell you know, potato, whatever. Stupid? Not really. George Bush was, he might have been the victim of uh, Fernicke's area encephalopathy. He might have been because of being, you know, alcohol abuse, whatever, maybe. But but in but in the in the realm, in the realm of stupid, Eric Adams is the is the the Muhammad Ali. He's the the uh, the Babe Ruth of stupid. And again, when Cardi B recognizes the fact when something is so obvious and so so blatant and patent, you got to ask yourself the question: How is it that he even recognizes the fact? And this is important. How is it that he even recognizes the fact that I guess he has no business being mayor? See what happened was, just so that you know, New York City, the largest city in the nation has about, what, 8 million people, roughly. And he was running against another guy who was a, a, a nice fellow, but a bit of a jadrol. His name is uh, Curtis Lewa. And Curtis Lewa was the, is, is the head, or uh, theoretically the head, of this thing called the Guardian Angels. The Guardian Angels is a, uh, it's hard to say, he is the generalissimo of this imaginary group of urban commandos. They they don't really exist. I mean, they were big in the 70s and 80s, you know, when the, in terms of being on the subway, but they don't do anything now. Anyway, it was kind of a gimme. Nobody showed up. New York is a, is, a, is a profoundly democratic town, and well, there you go. So anyway, so this idiot wins. Again, much to the chagrin and the amazement of, of rational thinking. And he finds himself in the position of winning. Anyway, so immediately he just, he's so bad. Here is the best example ever. They basically told him, you're going to follow this, okay? This is it. Don't mess with us. Don't, you know, um, Muriel Bowser of D.C., Lori Lightfoot, other people, other other mayors went along with it. Okay. Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, okay. So he went along with it at first, not really knowing what he was signing on to because he's, Eric Adams is not a libertarian. He's not a liberal. He's not a progressive. He's just a politician looking for acceptance. He wants to be cool. He wants to hang around late at night with Bo Deedle at Rayo's. He wants to wear uh, flashy uh, jackets at Vogue. He wants to be finally accepted. They're playing him as a chump. They know this. Even the big money folks invite him out to the Hamptons to raise money for him because he's stupid enough to do whatever they want him to do. It's not that he's corrupt. Well... Now he's under federal investigation. And the story is he may have shown exceedingly preferential treatment to Turkish officials for a, for an embassy or some particular building or whatever. Now, as you know and I know, 
it is not uncommon for people in the business to extend courtesies, constituent courtesies, to, to big money folks. Chuck Schumer, if this was against the law, Chuck Schumer would be cracking rocks upstate. He'd be in, in, uh, in Alcatraz. Even though it was open, closed, they'd open it for him because this guy is the biggest. I mean, he just, all he cares about. I mean, you remember Al D'Amato, Senator Pothole. Schumer does nothing but that. Anyway, but there's something different about this. Something different. And wait till they start turning. And we don't know if if Eric is uh, covering up for somebody else or I don't know. Maybe there's somebody behind because nothing. something tells me that he, on his own, did not necessarily want to be the latter-day Ataturk and has some kind of a Erdogan connection on his own. The man's a Boeotian, so he's doing it for somebody else. Who? We don't know. But it's going to be somebody big and powerful and his one of his aides supposedly said, "Hey, uh, dis, uh, get rid of these tweets, and well, we'll see what happens with that." If he gets out, he he's not going to run again. It could be Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo would be a note. He would win in a heartbeat. Why? Because he's Andrew Cuomo. And interestingly enough, he he was a guy, by the way, responsible for the 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 senseless deaths of the of elderly people with with uh, who were who were subjected to COVID. Remember that when he moved people into homes and basically, remember Janice Dean? Oh my God, that's all you heard about. She was right, but enough. Anywho, my friends, this is what's happening. When you've lost Cardi B, you've lost, I don't know what. And But more importantly, and here's the critical part, she's been given the signal, it's okay to say these things about She's been given the signal that it's okay to come out against Ewick because of the fact that they don't want anything to do with him. In fact, when he came out and screamed, oh, you missed this. When he was uh, basically um, trying to explain to folks what he was going to do, he was saying things like, you don't understand. This is a catastrophe. I, we're, we're, I mean, he was like basically almost crying. That's not a, uh, an example of good leadership, I, I promise you. But that's what he was doing. And also he was basically turning his back and blaming the Biden administration. Well, that's not good because when he was on his way to D.C. to meet with the Biden administration to let them know how bad things were, lo and behold, they find out or he finds out that his old campaign chief, her Brooklyn house or apartment, is being ransacked, well, raided and searched by the FBI. They even grabbed his phones off the street. They even came behind. The FBI says, give me your phones, and told his security detail, back off. They wanted him to know, we're coming after you. So the good news is, curtains for this oaf. The bad news is, New York City is going to be getting Andrew Cuomo. But the good news is, maybe, just maybe, this might be signaling the end of woke, mindless lunacy. Dear God, I hope. Think about this, my dear friends. Please subscribe to the channel and comment as you see fit.